<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Jay and H in the Comic Wasteland. This is Jay. I'm H. We're doing 007 James Bond Hammerhead by Andy Diggle and Luca Casalanguida. <laughs> <laughs> So this guy is, you know, uh, working the perimeter, wherever it is he's guarding. And sure enough, in the sky is someone comes parachuting down and in Kill true him. 007 fashion takes this guy out without hardly a whisper. Okay. And yeah, they're in Venezuela. Uh, so uh, apparently there's this hacker who's working. Saxon. With, right. A Saxon who's working with a guy named the Kraken, right? Kraken, motherfucker. And the Kraken feels that Saxon hasn't really held up his end of the deal. So he kind of purges his systems remotely. Yeah. He's like, no, fuck. And it's like, oh, by the way. <laughs> you have a British Asian about to yeah. pop in through the window. so You might want to get on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you heard the man. Right. Comes in, kills everyone except Saxon. He tries to get the data. The data's already being purged. There's no like access to the system. So he's, he's trying to track down Saxon. What he doesn't know. Is a Saxon has a collar. Collar, right? <laughs> that can be like remotely detonated or wh whatever it was. So Bond's trying to like you know get information out of this dude while not killing him. He's like, you know, I'll pull you up, but you gotta tell me this. You gotta tell me. And Saxon's like, I can't, man. The Kraken is everywhere. You know, he's listening right now. Like, yeah, he pull he pulls a Batman. He like he has him hanging upside down, and he's like, tell me your name. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. But then obviously the Kraken's always listening, so he activates the bomb, and Bond is like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. And well, then it explodes, and yeah. So Bond makes it back to MI6, and, and, and M isn't too happy about that. And it's like, now. dude, our only proof is like in the bottom of some Venezuelan building full of gunpowder. And, and you know, what the hell, James? What the hell? You know? It's like your, your, your after mission report, however brief it may be, didn't really tell us much. It's like, well, we know it's the Kraken. It's like, yeah, well, well that's all we have now. <laughs> And now they know, and now they're aware you're after them. So good job, <laughs> you're benched. <laughs> so Bond kind of gets punished. Yeah, he's and like, he kind of gets sent to Dubai to, um, to babysit. Yeah, to of. babysit this. Um, well, what we end up learning is the hammerhead, but we'll, we'll get to we'll that get in a second. That. So, it's so like, Dubai has like the greatest con like a convention of weapons. Like yeah, right? it's like the the weapons Comic Con is going on in, in Dubai, and right. Bond meets the statuesque uh, Victoria Hunt. Right. It's like the Hunt uh, yeah. convention. Right. And um, she's showing off all the different innovations that her company has this... Uh, this arsenal. Yeah, th this uh, convention season, what, what's currently on the market. The thing I thought was cool was the spider silk armor, body armor that they had oh, going yeah, the, on. The weave that's like, yeah. like pound for pound, like yeah, it was, they, they said lighter. Like, yeah, they said it's like 50% lighter than, than any known metal. Better or, than steel. Better than steel. And then they had handguns that had like, you know, ammo that could take down tanks. Yeah. Which... Well, was cool as shit. Yeah, that was cool as shit. What, what I thought cool as shit, I don't know if you picked up on this, it, it felt like very Metal Gear. Yes. Because it, it was pretty much like Arsenal Gear, right. and then they had like their own version of Metal Gear, which is Hammerhead. The Hammerhead. fucking railgun that can shoot an inter... Like, it can shoot a payload over 2,000 miles Yeah, anywhere. an ICBM from interballistic 2,000 miles. Like, Just think about whoa. that. 2,000 miles anywhere. Yeah, and Bond is like, hey, can this be retrofitted to shoot a nuclear, like a nuclear load? And yeah. she's like, well... That's not, the, that's not the purpose of it, but I, I guess. With our friendlies, yeah, yeah, I guess we can do that. That's why we're only selling it to our boys. But then, you know, lo and behold, they're being, in. they're being spied on. So, yeah. there's that. So, I'm interested to see where this is going. Um, this isn't the, the main James Bond title, no. which is by Warren Ellis, but... Right. Um, how do you feel that? How does this relate to that? Does this, you feel that, like it goes hand in hand with this? Like I feel, yeah, no, I feel like it. It, 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 it definitely feels like the same Bond. Right, it's, it's, it's the same Bond, right? Because no, no. the original Bond by by Warren Ellis and, and drawn by Jason Masters, like uh, I thought it was fucking awesome. You know, the, the whole the whole idea of, of Bond in a comic book just makes too much sense. He this is actually like the Bond you would imagine, not not Daniel Craig, <laughs> not, not you know, Pierce Brosnan exactly, but just like a mix of like all of these different bonds through time. And this is this is the end result. This is the, the definitive bond. Right. Yeah. Um, so it definitely connects. Obviously it's the same feel, like Bond is straight up a killer, but it's also like a suave, like Rico Suave kind of. Yeah, I, you, you just tell he's gonna get Victoria Hunt into bed. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, Before this miniseries is done, it's gonna happen. But it's cool, right? Because you get like two different stories at the same time with like the same character. So you know, you get 
on one end you get you know whatever like I think it's called Varger like the Varger they're dealing with these people called like the Varger group and then you have on this side you have the Kraken um, so it's obviously, obviously obviously worth the read you know at the very least it's, you're gonna get like a new perspective on Bond you're gonna enjoy just reading about him it's just cool as shit you know as, as, as rough as like Jason Bourne but like as suave as like Pierce Brosnan as James Bond yeah it so. definitely adds to the James Bond experience in, in lieu of not getting another new movie for like a, at least another year or two Right, and there's obviously there's gadgets, but not like a bunch of like crazy. It's not overly on the gadgets. It's more about the, the just the interaction he has with the people and the way he you know he goes about his missions. Yeah, Bond isn't a complete dick. You know, that's why I did right. like you know because sometimes you know some of the movies uh, portray Bond as like this kind of uh, pretentious you know guy that yes I can kill everyone in this room if I wanted to, but I'm not because I'm James Bond. Right. Like this this is a more I don't want to say grounded, but a, a more likable James Bond. Yeah, and smart yeah. and ready to go. Right. And he has, like, the foresight to have, like, certain things in place right. just in case. It's good. It's it, it, I mean, I absolutely love it. Like, this is... For me, this is James Bond. Like, this is what it should have been from the very beginning. Um, so, you know, is it a Mushu pork reference? <laughs> Might be for me. I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not currently reading the main series, but... H tells me such great things about it, so I gave this a shot, and yeah, this to me is what a James Bond comic should feel like. Guys, you heard it here first. Until next time.